Podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? If you could just type yes in the questions. All right. Good morning, everybody. Okay. Uh, let's get started. Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, the product comes along with education. There's a four-part educational course uh, that you receive. Uh, and... Um, as well as access to the uh, advanced order flow webinars that follow this webinar uh, immediately afterwards at 11 Eastern. And during that webinar, we go through uh, the uh, advanced concepts in order flow that are uh, within the educational course. So learn about it in the educational course and then in the advanced order flow webinars, uh, see it uh, see that content uh, in the live markets. So uh, it's a good combination, uh, and um, I hope that uh, uh, you guys find it helpful. Okay, let's go to bookmap.com and take a quick look here. Uh, just scroll down a bit. There's an intro video, information about bookmap. Uh, a bit further down, uh, you can see NASDAQ total view. So we offer uh, a bookmap for equities. Uh, and then um, connectivity. Okay, so uh, important part to cover here. Uh, what is Bookmap to begin with? Uh, we are a visualization, visualization software trading platform. Okay, we are not a data provider. Uh, so uh, you will need to provide data for futures or equities. Uh, we have a uh, agreement for GDAX, with GDAX for the digital currencies so that uh, uh, you don't need to provide that data. Uh, so uh, if you are looking to trade some of those digital currencies in GDAX, then that is already offered for free. Okay. Uh, these are the ways that you can connect. Now you can see that there's a few different platforms in here as well, like Ninja Trader, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Uh, we connect via the API of these three platforms, but we are a platform as they are. So you can uh, uh, connect Bookmap uh, directly, like uh, through CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, Transact, or Dev Experts. Now, this Dev Experts is for that NASDAQ total view, uh, and uh, for, that's for the U.S. equities. If you guys have any questions about the equities, uh, I have some loaded here, and we can take a look at some uh, and um, uh, go over uh, what Bookmap looks like for some of those equities. Really insightful stuff. Uh, it's a great data feed because you, um, you get full depth of market. All right, uh, and uh, let me know if you have any questions on that. I'll probably show it to you in the futures market as well because I'm, I'm connected via Rhythmic and uh, we can see full depth of market with CME products, okay? All right, packages. Um, this is where you can find monthly and subscribe. Uh, I'm sorry, find book map and subscribe. Let me reload this quickly. All right, there we go. Okay, uh, so... Uh, there's a free version here and now it connects uh, to the live markets is uh, to the GDAX exchange for a digital currency uh, you only get one digital currency you don't get the advanced education and you don't get uh, full support All right uh, you, you're not able to uh, to trade from the chart either uh, but you will get a full version of book map with heat map uh, volume dots etc uh, and uh, and also one US equity uh, is allowed it will be delayed though, so it's not real time. So please note that. The digital plus version, you can see it's 37 per month. Uh, and um, you can uh, trade right from the book map chart. Uh, you can display up to 20 uh, digital currencies and um, uh, you get the advanced education and full support. Okay, book map global um, is uh, what you'll need for futures uh, and or uh, the DX feed for U.S. equities. Okay, so it, it contains all of the features in Digital Plus, uh, but also allows connectivity to futures and U.S. equities. You get the advanced education, uh, etc. 
uh, in full support. Now the book, book map global plus is uh, for all of the uh, uh, all of what's available in global uh, with the addition of the ability to trade right from the chart. Okay, and uh, these proprietary indicators that we put together, large lot tracker, uh, imbalance indicator, iceberg uh, tracker, and um, uh, correlation tracker. So what these um, uh, allow you to do is, uh, well, they're, they're proprietary indicators we put together for the order flow, uh, understanding the order flow, and um, uh, we start to identify individual uh, participants as well. Okay, with that large lot tracker and iceberg detector. Now, if you're new to futures uh, and need a data feed, you can click here uh, and get a demo. There's a few different offerings available uh, from different uh, uh, data providers. And if you want a full list of all the different features here, you can click here, uh, and then you can click here for any uh, uh, frequently asked questions that you may have. Okay, let's go to social media. You can see here uh, our uh, at bookmap underscore pro <clears throat> um, and follow us here on Twitter and get up-to-date information all sorts of great stuff great image here this is uh, for Cisco for example uh, check this out this is with the DX feed and look at the market makers you know uh, liquidity pulled all at once and look how they start to come into the market layer into the market uh, a bit later beautiful beautiful image there uh, and uh, all sorts of great stuff here so uh, you might want to check that out. Uh, and then uh, our YouTube page as well. Uh, there's all sorts of videos here, intro videos here. You can click on the playlist and watch all of the playlists or uh, features and components here. Uh, and then order flow video snippets. Now, these videos here go through the same type of uh, phenomena that we go through in detail in those advanced order flow webinars. Okay, so that's our YouTube page. Now let's jump into Bookmap and take a look. All right, we're looking at the S&P E-mini. Uh, and um, well, uh, for those of you who are new here, uh, let's just go through some of the basics, okay, what you're looking at and understand uh, what Bookmap is offering you. Uh, very unique way of visualizing the market. Uh, can look a little confusing here. It's actually really simple data, okay? What you're looking at here in the book map chart, if, let me close up this indicator panel, uh, which is this uh, cumulative volume delta. Um, but what you're looking at here in, in book map is really just three very simple market elements. Historical best bid and offer, the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer in, this, in these volume dots, okay? And then uh, uh, this heat map that you see is just the, um, it's the uh, uh, the dome. Uh, it's just a recording of the dome uh, plotted onto the chart. So you can see where they're bidding and offering in specific areas. Okay, that's it. So uh, uh, just to go through that in detail, let's start with something familiar. Uh, and then uh, we will um, uh, strip away all these different uh, layers of data. Okay, and start with a very simple candlestick chart. Five minute candlestick chart, open high, low and close. Okay, and that's the problem here with a candlestick chart. It's open, it's, it's an aggregated period, okay? You may be looking at volume bars, you may be looking at Renko bars, whatever it is, it's still aggregated within a period or rotation, etc. And bookmap is not, okay? Bookmap is showing every single market event. So let, let me just turn on historical best bid and offer and you'll see what I mean, okay? So for example, uh, uh, between this candle and this candle, what really occurred? Well, there was a lot of different action, and we can see it. Okay, if we zoom in here, okay, and uh, nice little uh, kind of sideways action down here. But uh, you know, we're we're closing down at lower lows. We close down it again at lower low, uh, and then um, uh, we can see that uh, there's a little microstructural area in here. Okay, starting to find some buyers. Okay, we can see the wick here. Uh, or maybe it's exhausting out of sellers. We don't know that data. Uh, and why don't we know that? Because we don't have the volume in a candlestick chart. Okay. So let's turn on the volume dots. Okay. And uh, here we go. Now we can see where that volume is transacting. Okay. And we can get a feel for uh, the pressure, buying pressure and selling pressure in this market. Okay, so, for example, we see a lot of red dots here. OK, 
okay, pulling that market down. Okay, that's uh, that selling pressure. Uh, we see that buyers start to step in here. Okay, and they actually break this little microstructural area. Okay, that's unique. Okay, we haven't seen that yet uh, in this trending down market. Okay, so uh, buyers are starting to step in, starting to show some interest. Look how we broke even this swing up here. Okay, these are important important areas to understand. It's completely lacking in this candlestick chart. We just don't get it. We don't see that that data. Okay, uh, and um, we're also looking at clusters. Look at this cluster of volume in this microstructure up here. Okay, it's giving a lot of insight that buyers are starting to step in. Okay, that's different than the behavior over here. Okay, and even here. Okay, so uh, we're starting to really understand now the details and the order flow. Okay, and this is like you know we're looking at still here. Uh, I don't know, let's see, uh, about a half hour of data. Okay, so uh, it's, it's uh, uh, a lot of people say that Bookmap is uh, just great for scalping, and uh, uh, we really beg to differ. Uh, this uh, data and information uh, is extremely insightful on higher time frames. Okay, and a lot of, uh, a lot of our traders look at Bookmap. Uh, they may even be trading uh, on the monthly chart, but they still want to understand what's going on uh, in the book, uh, even on those higher time frames when they are, uh, uh, you know, ready to uh, enter, exit, or, or manage uh, their, their positions. All right. So uh, let's, uh, let's go over uh, just the, the basics here of what we're displaying with these, just these two elements that we have on the chart here. And we can, let's just get rid of the candlestick chart here. Uh, one note about the candlestick chart. Okay, um, and that is like a, even a, a footprint chart. Okay, I, and I, I, I'm I'm very um, uh, uh, you know I, I I like the footprint charts. Uh, I don't have any, any sort of uh, issue with those footprint charts at all. I think they're very insightful. The problem that I have with footprint though is that uh, it's aggregated data again with it just like this candlestick chart. Okay, it's within a period. Uh, and uh, yeah, you're going to see exactly the, the numeric values here of what traded and who's in control uh, in uh, some of the areas. But uh, because it's aggregated, you you miss out on the microstructure here. Okay, you also miss out on the speed of the way that these moves took took place. Okay, uh, and um, uh, to, this is a, it offers tremendous insight. I mean, look at how we return back here. Okay. Uh, into this area where the initiated buyers are clearly defined here, lifting the offer, all right? So uh, that's uh, another problem with uh, just a data aggregation, okay? And let's, let's just zoom in here and I'll, let me show you how Bookmap displays the data, okay? Uh, we'll just zoom into this little cluster here, okay? And we can continue to zoom into this cluster and we can continue to go in here, all right? And now we're looking at you know, microsecond levels here. So we're looking at millions of seconds here, okay? We can continue to look at billions of seconds uh, down to nanosecond level here, okay? Look at the timeline down here, billions of seconds. We're recording every single market event, okay? Now we don't trade off of the nanosecond level. So as I zoom back out, note how we take this data, okay? Every single event recorded, uh, and then we will just visually and graphically aggregate that into a bigger dot. So you have an understanding of what's going on at that price level. Okay, just in this this uh, zoom level right here, uh, really really uh, 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 interesting uh, uh, thing to point out here is that uh, between each vertical dotted line right here, this is the blink of a human eye, average blink, okay, 200 milliseconds. Right? So you can see how uh, dynamic these markets really are. Within this 200, uh, let's just zoom in here. Okay? Within that 200 millisecond time, 91 contracts, well, we had 91, 90, 90 contracts traded here. Okay, And that's in a blink of an eye. And it's both buying and selling. All right? So uh, it's all recorded, uh, and uh, but it's all visually aggregated here in a way that we can, you know, very quickly understand. So these two elements, historical best bid and offer, 
Red line is the best best uh, offer. Green line is the best bid. These transactions or these dots, okay, volume is recording the aggressor. Okay, someone hit the market sell button, and these red dots painted here on the best bid. Okay, they took liquidity off of the best bid. They didn't provide liquidity. They're not in the limit order book over here providing liquidity. Okay, so now you can start to understand uh, exactly what we're displaying here. And then the insight that you can get from it, okay? The best, uh, or these uh, green dots, this is aggressive market buy. Okay, someone hit the market buy there. Now, as we zoom out and we put all of this together, the microstructure together with uh, the um, the volume, okay, and the movement here, we're starting to get a really good picture of uh, who's in control in the order flow, okay? And uh, that's what we want to know. All right, and uh, that's the problem with aggregated data uh, is it just uh, it, it lacks uh, that sort of insight here. Uh, so uh, let's get rid of the candlestick chart. And now let's get to that third element, uh, that uh, uh, question on uh, exact um, uh, data that you, you want to uh, you want to know the details. Well, you can use this data tip tool here and we can hover over these areas. Okay, so this this red dot here signifies volume of over a thousand, over over 1,100 contracts here. Okay, uh, that traded very very quickly. Okay, now you'll note too that uh, there's little pie displays in here of both buying and selling. Okay, well it's just because we've visually aggregated it for you because there's so many transactions of both buying and selling uh, that we have to give you the overall shape of it. And understanding so you can see that they're selling in here in these little pie displays here and let's just bring up the dot size a bit okay uh, but um, uh, we give you the overall right so you have an understanding well there's a clearly a uh, majority of these 329 contracts that traded uh, it's aggressive buying all right now let's go over uh, that third element on this book map chart and we'll go to the current market for this and we'll start to look at uh, some of the uh, uh, order flow as well okay all right so we've got uh, volume and historical best bid and offer all right now that third element is uh, the um, the depth of market okay where the auction where are they bidding and offering okay normally we uh, consume that data by looking at the dome Okay, the depth of market, the COB column here, the current order book. This is your your dome and book map. All right, you can see the price ladder here. Okay, and then here, just to the right of this vertical white line, this is your best bid and offer currently. Okay, and this is the last traded volume. All right, here in the in the COB column, these numeric values, these are contracts uh, on the uh, on the bid side uh, at these specific price levels where traders want to be buyers okay this is the auction on the bid here's the auction on the offer uh, these are traders that want to sell at these specific price levels okay uh, the dome is great it's great to see and understand where larger uh, areas of liquidity or uh, lack of liquidity is present okay. the problem with the dome here is that uh, these numbers are constantly changing so you're gonna have to memorize well how, what was their behavior did they add liquidity? Did they pull liquidity? How much? What about areas around it? Did they front run it um, and added higher liquidity? Or uh, did they um, uh, kind of step back and provide liquidity at lower levels when they pulled it? Okay. We want to answer all of those questions. It's very tedious to be able to answer that in the dome. Okay, And, uh, and then re remember it for over a long period of time. Okay, And here's how Bookmap solves that issue. Okay. We take that data and we turn it into a heat map here in this window. Okay, So you'll note immediately areas of high liquidity are painted in the heat map. Note how it was bright here and then they just pulled and now they're back in. Okay, So we can start to understand their behavior. Okay, So uh, when the numbers change, the heat map changes. <clears throat> and look at these striations that you see here uh, in the... Uh, uh, at this uh, 2719 level, okay. This is the adding and pulling of liquidity. This is what it looks like, okay. Just as we can see here, it flashing, getting brighter, brighter blue, uh, and then it goes darker. And this is what it, this is the recording of that here. 
Okay, so uh, the um, and here's the scale up here. Okay, so uh, you know when it's dark, there's very little liquidity. When it's blue, there's more. When white is there's uh, still more, and then yellow, and then orange is the brightest. Okay, so here you can see we're coming up to a level of high liquidity at 25 here. It's about 600 contracts up here. Okay, and let's zoom out now. See now this is what something Bookmap offers that. Uh, you can't get uh, really uh, an understanding on a much higher time frame of what's going on here. This is longer term liquidity. It's been here for a while now, okay, up at 25, okay, and we know that. That's fact, right? And, um, uh, you know, to you'd have to memorize that in the dome and, uh, uh, you know, uh, and note it and see if they still uh, stayed in the book, uh, you know, later on. Well, it's just all right in front of us here uh, graphically, so we, we understand that they're still here. Okay, we can also start to determine uh, their intent in that auction. Did they stay in the book? Did they pull? Did they actually trade? Uh, as price comes up toward them, what was their behavior? This offers tremendous insight to uh, uh, understanding uh, the intent of these larger players providing liquidity. So look at these areas here. This, these are larger players in the book, okay? And they're layering in at these different price levels. And let's zoom into that area, okay? And let's answer this question, okay? Because you'll hear a lot of traders talk about this, uh, that um, uh, specific price levels uh, with liquidity here, well, I don't really look at the liquidity because it's all fake liquidity, okay? Here's a glaring example of it not being fake. Okay, we may we can determine uh, that liquidity that is uh, real or fake. Okay, this is real liquidity. There's uh, uh, 743 contracts here, and they stayed in the book and traded. Okay, this is fact. Okay, we know that. So this larger player, you can see exactly what how many contracts traded here. Uh, so um, uh, 697 traded out of these uh, f uh, 743. All right, so there's your answer, uh, and and you you know that uh, uh, these guys absorbed, or they didn't actually absorb it because uh, price went through, uh, but they got filled at this area. Okay, and here we come up into this area up here. Uh, and look how their behavior is different, okay? Back here, 479 contracts, okay, 490. Now they're starting to pull, 376, okay, 374, right? So did they, uh, is this uh, real liquidity or, or more fake liquidity? And th this is a little more convoluted. It's kind of an answer, uh, the answer is both because they are pulling as price is coming up. Uh, but, uh, uh, and, and so they don't have that intent to trade like these guys did down here at 20. Okay. So they're starting to pull, but they're staying in with some. All right. So it's, uh, the it, answer is kind of both on that one. Okay. Also note, look at the behavior here that we can witness. Larger players playing at the, the whole numbers, 2720, 2721, and then 2722. That's layering in at these higher levels, okay? And um, let's just zoom out a bit further because we can see that we have uh, another, like, barrage of transactions up here, okay? Well, again, we can answer that question emphatically. Was that real liquidity? And the answer is absolutely, all right? It traded right into it, okay? Now, let's, let's, let's make a distinction between that and fake liquidity, Okay, here's fake liquidity, okay? Uh, well, I shouldn't say it's fake, it's just that they don't have the intent to trade. They, they were in the book here, and then price ticked up into them and they pulled, okay? They don't have the intent to trade here, okay? So uh, we can determine that. Uh, and now you can start to understand a lot more about what's going on in this auction, okay? So look, for example, uh, at, um, uh, this area here where we traded up into a lot of buying pressure here, as you can see, okay? But, uh, you know, uh, these larger players are going to slow down 
that buying pressure. Okay, we see that one more uh, hit here to the to the high side, and we're starting to see a lot of sellers starting to come in here. Okay, so uh, now we can start to to put the the pieces together and understand that this uptrending market, okay, is uh, we're we're finding people that are uh, starting to take the other side. Okay, in that auction. Now, if we see sellers start to take control here, and we we're getting both sides here. So kind of looking for some sideways action at the moment, but uh, uh, we, um, uh, you know, are, are starting to understand that, uh, well, a lot of that buying pressure is, uh, is, is, is being uh, absorbed or it's starting to slow down that uh, uh, aggressive buying uh, to the upside. Okay. Look at the behavior here as well. Okay. If we look at this player up here, and it's probably the same player. It's, it's, it's got to be, basically. It's 99% sure. Providing high liquidity up here, 509 contracts, 17 contracts. He pulls at 23 and then aggressively moves it down two full points to 21. Okay, At the same moment he pulls here, he adds it down here. Okay, That would be uh, rather difficult to, uh, to, to, to witness in the, uh, uh, in the uh, dome. Okay, and we can understand that's pretty aggressive here, right? And you can see that uh, the the uh, buyers shy are shying away from this. You know, here come the sellers, right? So now we we we're just starting to witness the the uh, potential here for uh, for reversal in price. Okay, I'd like to see it come a little bit lower, and I'd like to see uh, more contracts uh, trade down here on the sell side. Okay. Uh, for this uh, for this reversal because we can see we are still in an uptrend at the moment All right so now we're starting to piece on higher time frames that together uh, this structure okay we can draw on the chart here uh, along with um, the uh, the order flow and the auction. Okay. We're getting a complete picture of what's going on at some of these very specific price levels. And we're able to utilize it not only for microstructural areas and scalping, but on much higher time frames. All right. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, let's see. Edson, uh, you have a, a question here. Uh, direct market access. Uh, it's going through XP. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know the details on that. I, I don't know the details on that one. Uh, uh, Edson, if you could just reach out to support at bookmap.com, and, uh, and I think uh, we can give you a more precise answer on that. Okay. What's Ed, we, we're just offering a new release to the um, uh, Brazilian market. Okay. Uh, which is uh, just going to be great. I mean, uh, uh, through XP. So, um, I, I, yeah, reach out to them and 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 uh, we can give you a better answer. All right. All right, guys. Well, uh, let's wrap it up here. It's about about eleven o'clock. If you're signed up for the um, uh, for Bookmap, then we'll see you in the next webinar. Have a good day.